what drew me to this movie was um, the the sort of passion and intellect intersection that Aaron and Gita so perfectly toe. I think they they care about the characters and they're telling a serious story, but they also have a great sense of humor, and I think the film really shows that. Ken Miller is someone who, in real life, I don't know that I would have a lot in common with or enjoy, necessarily. But he's a good guy. He's just a stickler who really believes in law and order and the rules and and probably hasn't had a lot of fun life experience to kind of break him of those uh, predisposed rules and, and guidelines in his life. Ken is really annoying, and Ken is, is really specific. Um, but that as an actor, that's obviously fun to play. It's fun to play people like that. So I really enjoyed playing Ken's nuances and subtleties and uh, idiosyncrasies. That stuff is a lot of fun and brings about a lot of comedy. I mean, listen, uh, I'm, I'm no Christian Bale. I'm, I'm no... Uh, I'm no Tom Hardy. I didn't do a lot of background on loss prevention officers. But it seems as though they keep those sort of sturdy uh, law and order guidelines in those places of, of uh, sort of small-time convenience, like a grocery store or a, a quick mart or whatever. It seems that this is the type of job you don't think of. You, know? you don't think of the people that are doing sort of mental custodian work in facets of, of small-time business. And this is one of those guys, which I think leads to a lot of his malcontent and, uh, and, and sort of uh, low self-esteem. Ken does some reconnaissance work with the receipts, and he's tracking what was purchased and when and where. And he's going into the database uh, to find the financial documents on every purchase made in those stores. And so he's kind of, you know, blinding himself on a computer screen and, and random receipts throughout the film. And after that first act, when he makes those discoveries, um, it's not until he meets Simon, Vince's character, that it all kind of clicks and makes sense. And so in a weird way, Simon has value and my character Ken has value, but it's not until they work as a team that, that those values can be um, really sort of utilized. Vince is really, really funny. He doesn't disappoint. Um, there are some people that you work with who are funny on screen, but not funny off screen. Vince is funny all of the time. He's always uh, quick to make you laugh or to cheer you up or to give a, a word of advice. So I've, I've had a blast working with him. He's, he's been a lot of fun. Aaron and Gita are really easy to work with. They care a lot. They've done their homework. They come at it from all angles, both technical and intellectual, and the humor and uh, trying to find the characters POV. They're really good at rounding every base and, and showing that they don't want to leave any stone unturned. I think that's, that's a great trait for a writer, director, producing duo. I really like Aaron and Gita as people, and that makes it easier to want to follow them as directors, too. Um, you can't say that about all the directors you work with, but Aaron and Gita are people that you just you want in your life too, which is cool. I think everybody's used some form of a coupon, even if it's like a BOGO thing at a buy one get one popcorn at a movie, or whether it's uh, you know some sort of deal when you're buying a car and it's the you pick the right season to purchase, whatever it is. I think everybody's used coupons to some degree. I don't cut coupons. I have memories of my mom cutting coupons when I was a kid. And you'd see it splayed out on a Sunday all across the dining room table. And uh, with four kids, she had to cut coupons, man. She had to save 30 cents on a box of Honey Nut Cheerios because when you got four kids, it's, it's a pain in the ass. You have to have some sort of strategy at play. Um, but what's funny about this movie with coupons is it seems so far-fetched and silly, but this happened. This actually happened. And uh, 
I think queen pins, for all it's worth, it really does prove that uh, truth is stranger than fiction, you know?